Hey there. It's a warm day out. It's a nice day. It feels like spring, so we're making a springtime dish today. Now you may be asking yourself, Amanda, is that you? No, it's not. It's me. Welcome to Cooking USA. Today we're making a mocha Swiss ice cream cake. So what you need, first, I've already started this, so my apologies, um, where you're jumping into the middle here. So the first thing you're gonna need is a little bowl, like this. So you've got your bowl. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get some plastic wrap, and you're gonna wanna cover the inside of the bowl with that plastic wrap. Make sure all the insides and everything is covered with that plastic wrap. You don't need spray or anything, just put the plastic wrap in there. So, for the outside of your cake, you're gonna get these little Swiss rolls. Now, you can... What? What? Okay. <clears throat> your Swiss rolls, or your ho-hos, whatever you want. You know, it's all the same It's thing. not a ho-ho, but go ahead. And you're gonna cut it into fourths. So, any other cameraman will probably wanna get a little bit closer. They can, they can see. So, you just cut it in half, like that. You're gonna cut it in half there. Don't worry about the little chocolate shell. We'll show you what we're gonna do with that here in a second. Cut and force. So now you have eight individual pieces. Ooh, can I see a roll? That's not a good one. Oh. So now what you're going to do, just take each individual piece, it's kind of time consuming and it's kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. But you're going to take the little chocolate shell coating thing off. And it's okay if you leave some, like right here on the bottom, it's kind of hard to get it off. So you can leave it on there and like on the edges. But get as much of it off as you can. Um, so that you just have a little naked Swiss roll right there no chocolate shell on it so as you can see um you're going to just take it your little pieces and just start in the bottom and there's going to be little holes you're not going to be able to fill it up completely but just put the put it in the bowl that's got the plastic wrap on it and you want to cover up as much surface area as you can so just like that try to make a nice little pattern that'll be fun so we're done with our Swiss rolls. We got them all in there. It's a nice full bowl. You want to make sure they're up against there really good. Kind of stuck to the plastic even a little bit. Here's what it looks like from the outside a little bit. But what we're going to do now is we're going to, we, this has to firm up a little bit. So we're going to pop this bad boy in the freezer for about 20 minutes or so. But first, make sure it's covered. Put your lid on, put it in the freezer for about 20 minutes. Don't squish it. Don't squish them, and we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes, about 20 minutes. We're gonna take our bowl out of the freezer and see what it looks like. Hopefully the same, just cold. Fair enough. About the same. Yay! But yes, nice and firm. So now for the fun part. It's all fun, but the next fun part. We are using Colombian coffee ice cream because it's the only coffee ice cream I could find at the store. For less than $500. True. So I just think this would be good with a coffee ice cream, you know, but you could really use whatever ice cream you wanted. And if you wanted to get fancy, you could even like layer ice creams probably. But you're going to want to let your ice cream sit out for a little bit. You want it to be soft, like a really soft kind of ice cream. You don't want it to be super hard. And then you're going to just plop it right down in there. So after you put a scoop or two, however many you want, just kind of want to mash it down a little bit. Keep it as compact inside of here as you can. Can I sprinkle the pieces? Remember how we took the chocolate shell off of the cake? things. Well, we decided to keep those, put them in the fridge, got them a little nice and hard too. And then we decided, you know what would be fun? Let's just take them. Let's just sprinkle them in there. Oh, I and guess that was a no for me. Amanda's wanting to do the sprinkling. 
Um, so I will let her do that. <laughs> and once that gets nice and frozen, it'll probably just give it a nice little crunch, which would be pleasant. So we're going to put some more ice cream on top of that. So we put some more in, more of the chocolate pieces. and I did it. Yeah, Amanda did it because she <laughs> couldn't stand not being the center of attention for this Cooking USA, so she had to get in there somehow. So it's kind of hard to flatten that out. It's wanting to stick. But what we're going to do is we're going to get this as flat as we can. We don't want it to be over what's left of the Swiss rolls. Okay, so our ice cream is up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ice cream is up to the top, and we've got all of this left from our uh, Swiss rolls. We still have all of that. So what we're going to do is just, we're going to make a nice little crust. Crust? Yeah, kind of like a Dairy Queen ice cream cake crunchy middle. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if crust was the right word, but I think it is. So we're just going to use the rest, because if we didn't do this, then we would just be eating all of these chocolate pieces by themselves. Which I've already a lot of. We're going to replace our lid on there down it's really full oh it's so cute there it is you can see the ice cream's kind of coming through oh, it's so cute. the cracks and once that gets hardened it should just stay that way which will be fun so we're gonna put this back into the freezer for about an hour hour and a half we want that ice cream to get nice and hard like ice cream does okay I'll see you in a little over an hour. All right, so it's been a couple of hours. We let it go a little long, but we're gonna check it. And it appears to be pretty solid. I think this is gonna be great. All right, let's open her up. Oh. This is everything I wanted it to be. Okay, so now for the part that we're all nervous for, or at least I am. We're gonna flip this bad boy over. Oh wait, this oh, is wait. what you... Yeah. Pro tip. <laughs> all right. Ladies and gentlemen, the Mocha Swiss ice cream cake. All right, let's cut into this. Yes. It might come apart a little bit as you're cutting it, but that's okay. Yes. Just be careful when you cut it. Tastes the same. <laughs> there it is. Very good. It's just like cozy. You know what I'm saying? It's like coffee. The coffee ice cream, like the sweet Swiss roll, just takes you back to your childhood. This is excellent. Come back next time for Cooking USA. I probably will not be on this side of the camera next time, but we're going to make something good either way. <laughs>